So I told you guys that so long as they don't fuck Joe Joyce, he's going to go on to do good things in the sport. Now clearly somebody is fucking with him right now. This video is not for slaves. And if you live in the... Is it all of UK that's been locked down? Or just England? You're a slave. That's not me offending you. That's not me belittling you. I'm not trying to attack you. I'm just letting you know you are a slave. Okay? You quarantine sick people. You lock down prisoners. Are you sick? Exactly. Anyway, see, this is the reason why my channel is... All my channels are demonetized. And they've been... They've been taking down this dude's videos, man. Going after He's the inventor of the one of the tests that they use, and he'll tell you exactly what the deal is with the test. I don't got to get into all the details, but basically, the crux of this test is the magnification, okay? Cycle threshold. According to the inventor of the test, you can find anything you want, depending on how you calibrate the test. That's the crux of it, okay? Then, there's also the so-called rapid test that they use, okay, to diagnose. Can you read? Read what it says. Just, just read what it says. That's all you got to do. So, Salas testing positive. Um, is he sick? Is he sick, though, right? Does he have a cough? Does he have a runny nose? Does he, you know, does he have the flu? Is he sick? Does he have pneumonia? Is he sick? Right? Can healthy people give you a disease? Apparently, most people on the planet have been convinced to believe that healthy people can give them a disease. That's, that's how intelligent the average person is. Okay? Okay? So let's see some of this so-called boxing media interview Salas, you know, over Zoom or Skype, just, just, just to be safe, right? And um, ask him if he's sick. Ask if the fighters he's been in contact, if they're sick. Ask about his family, if they're sick. All the hundreds of people he's been in contact with. Ask if any of them are sick. Okay. <laughs> uh, how much longer will people well until the very end in my opinion but I think it's worth asking the question how much longer will you let them enslave you before you actually do something about it right cowards anyway I will immediately block all conspiracy theorists, idiots, low IQ slaves, immediately. So watch your fucking mouth, okay? We don't play games over here. I don't debate morons. Anyway. Yeah. Joe Joyce is, is not going to have his trainer in the corner, right? That's a major blow. To him and anybody who says that this is an excuse is immediately gonna get blocked immediately because you're too fucking damn dumb to know the difference between a reason and an excuse if somebody breaks their leg in the ring and loses the fight that's probably the reason why they lost the fight not an excuse the dog ate my homework, that's an excuse. I would hope that anybody that watches my videos also speaks English, understands English, right? Guys, I'm just pissed off, man. This is, this is such bullshit. They're fucking with Joe Joyce, right? They don't want him to win.
all the more reason to root for Joe Joyce. Nothing against Daniel Dubois, but clearly he's the chosen one, right? Ask the bookies. Ask the dumbed down, enslaved public. Betting on him, betting him up to be this huge favorite. Brainwashed fucking zombies. Don't know what the fuck they're looking at. Anyway, is this enough to make a difference? I mean, probably not, but like, what else are they doing, right? If they're willing to stoop this low and fuck Joe Joyce over this much to remove his trainer from being there at fight night, what else are they doing that we don't know about, right? Anyway, let's, let's see these interviews. Boxing media. Let's see Mr. Salas, bedridden, dying, right? Fuck out of here. Thanks for watching.